On May 5th, Kilauea volcano on the island of Hawaii, the big island, had a fissure eruption which occurred south of Leilani Estates and it wiped out uh, quite a few homes and the whole experience of watching this on YouTube live and through people's vlogs gave me a really good insight as to the beauty and the devastation of what lava can bring. And while watching these videos, I picked up on the produce and the wildlife in the area. And I thought I would take some of what I learnt and put it together and create a dish called Leilani Chicken. There were chickens and roosters. The most famous rooster, of course, was Rusty the Rooster down on, uh, I think it was about Fisher 17. And, uh, you know, people grow pineapples, they grow avocados, they grow bananas in their backyards in this beautiful spot. So, here we go. Let's make a, uh, a dish to, uh, you know, uh, honor this amazing historical natural event. All right, so yeah, cooking with KP, a little bit different today, okay? So what we're starting off with is a bowl. I'm gonna add in around about a third, maybe half a cup of ketchup. I'm actually using my banana ketchup, which is a Filipino one. You've uh, probably seen that before. In goes uh, around about two cloves of garlic, the equivalent to some garlic uh, ginger paste, around about a third of a cup of a good quality soy sauce. I'm just gonna put all of this into a bowl. And this is gonna be our marinade for this really new interesting dish and uh, we're going to put about a third of a cup of apple cider vinegar in you could use the vinegar of your choice of course but the apple cider is just quite nice and sweet and works with all of this together give it a quick stir now we're going to add in around about two tablespoons of caster sugar that's just going to sweeten it up a little bit more again and cut through all that soy we want this to be a nice sweet dish being uh, hawaiian inspired okay so here i've got around about 600 grams of chicken thighs make sure if there's little bits of bone get rid of that and we're just going to cut these up into nice little bite-sized pieces just like that and put that straight into our marinade no real rocket science here just nice little chunks like i'm doing there all right and as i said this is inspired by uh, what happened in hawaii in 2018 but anyway so this is for the chicken and rusty the rooster i'm just going to put all of that into the marinade and leave that for around about two hours all right just keep it in the refrigerator put a bit of plastic film over the top now we're getting into the cooking stage so normally when i'm doing a hawaiian dish i'll use spam no we're using just good old bacon again for the wild pigs that roam leilani estates just going to put that down and cook it to uh how you like it cooked all right i like mine still a little bit soft that's just me with that nice little caramelized tinge to it i'm just going to put that aside and we'll get on to our next step now again for the chickens that run right in leilani i'm going to add in a couple of eggs one egg per serving i'm just going to put that straight on top of our teppanyaki grill here you could do this on the barbecue if you want Teppanyaki grill you can do indoors and you're not going to get wet. I'm covering those eggs with my uh, little cover there and it's just going to help them cook a little bit quicker and a little bit more even. There you go, the eggs are done. Just separate them if they join together very, very carefully. Just put those aside as well and uh, we'd like the yolks runny because it's going to form another type of sauce. All right, so two hours has gone by and we can start grilling our chicken off. And with the amount of chicken that we're using, we can actually do this on this nice big teppanyaki grill all in one go. We're just gonna put that down and we don't want a lot of that marinade on there. The marinade's done its job. It's in the chicken flesh itself and it's added all that beautiful flavor. And we're just gonna cool, cook these off for around about five to six minutes per side, so to speak. and. They're not going to take very long at all. Look at that. Look at the colour and the caramelisation that's on that chicken. The chicken is beautifully tender on the inside and it's still got that nice char on the outside. Okay, I think we're getting pretty close to getting uh, to the end of the cooking stage here. All right, now I've plated up with all the other little 
accompaniments on the side. I'll go through that in a second. We can start plating our chicken up. All right, there we go. We've got some coleslaw. We've got a banana. We have our bacon. We've got some pineapple chunks. We've got an avocado. We have our beautiful marinated chicken. And all we are going to do now is top that off with our fried egg on top like that. The only thing that I haven't really gone into is the coleslaw, but I have made coleslaw before on the channel. Anyway, like the site, see you try and make this one at home. Really simple, really quick, really easy, apart from the marinating time. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. Share this video with all your friends on all platforms of social media. If you like this video, hit that like button. It gives me confidence and should make you feel warm and fuzzy too. Don't forget to hit that notifications bell. You'll be notified every time a new video goes up. But more importantly, when I create something new, something interesting, and you want to see it, well, there's only one thing for you to do. You need to come and join the family, my family. Hit the subscribe button, and you'll never miss another one of my videos again. I'm off to eat my Leilani chicken. I will catch you next time. Bye.